Hello and welcome to Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline and today I'll be describing an experiment I conducted to test whether hermit crabs can hear. Now since we just want to test if they can hear, not whether they'll react to light or something else in the area, we have to create a sound without having anything else in the area shake and without producing any light or shadows. Alright, so how do we make sound without making vibrations or light? Well, one easy way to make a sound without making vibrations or light is to do it remotely. So pretty much, I'm not going to be using my actual hands or anything to make a noise. For instance, if I was going to clap, the hermit crabs could just react to the motion of my clapping. I wouldn't know if they were reacting to the sound or to the motion of the clapping. So I'm going to use my magical cell phone. And I set it so that the vibrate is not on and it only is going to make a sound. Now the phones do light up when they ring, so what I'm going to do is put the phone face down in here so none of the light will come out. I'm going to put my hermit crabs in this container, let them run around for about 10 minutes. Once a few of them are on or near the phone, I'm going to call it. I'm going to see if they react to just the sound coming out of the phone. Alright, so I have my four largest crabs in here. We have Dante, my jumbo. Marceline, striped shell, Quinn in the dolphin shell, and Brock Samson in the pearl shell. They're all very active, so I'm going to wait until they're uh, kind of more, a little more acclimated to the environment. And when they get a little bit closer, we're going to test the ring. Now the ring is set right in the middle of the loudness it could be, so we're going to test it a couple times at the middle volume, and then we're going to test it at the louder volume and see what happens. Okay, the crabs are getting near the phone, so now we're going to see if they react to it being called. does not to see it seem to be any particular reaction to the sound. Dante's approaching it, and we're gonna try again. Same volume. No, nobody seemed to notice. To attract my crabs, the center I added honey. So we're gonna try again. Try calling again. I don't think she reacted to the sound. More like she's eating the paper towel. Marceline, don't eat the paper towel. I move the phone to one of the corners because they seem to like being along the edges better. The 
This is still bringing on the medium uh, volume. We're going to give them a couple of seconds without the ring, and then we're going to do it again. No particular reactions. Alright, so we're going to turn the volume up. Alright, so we upped the volume to max on the phone, and I piled all the crabs right next to the phone. Dante walked away, but we're going to do it with these three. Alright, go. No particular reaction. Brock Samson's trying to eat the phone. Don't eat the phone. Alright. Alright, and this is still set to the loudest volume. We're gonna try calling it again. There's been no particular reaction. All right, now we're going to set the phone to vibrate and just see what, how they react to the vibrating phone. All right, so the phone is set to vibrate on ring, and the ring itself is off. So when Brock Samson crawls across it, we're going to call it. Yeah. No particular reaction to the vibration. He was already walking off of it and continued to walk off of it. Hey, Quinn, I put her upside down on the phone. When she writes herself, we're gonna call it and see if she reacts. Actually, you know what? Call it now because she, if she reacts, then she'll go back into her shell. So that was Quinn reacting to the vibration of the phone. Nothing else in the room moved. There was no other sounds. There was no other light. So she didn't react to the ringer, but she reacted to the vibration of the phone. So we're going to try the loud ringtone again with Quinn. When she first starts coming out, we're going to call it and see if she reacts by going back inside. Call it. So, so unlike the vibration where she went back in her shell, unlike the vibration where she went back in her shell and she felt it with the ringtone, she just kept coming out of her shell and continued on with her life. 
Hmm. Now, as a comparison to the sound and the vibrations that we did, so they didn't react to the sound at all, they didn't appear to, and Quinn did react to the vibration test that we did. Now, normally hermit crabs react to movement of things around them, so if they actually see something, or change in light or shadow. Now, that's probably because hermit crabs are creatures who are eaten by everything in nature. So if like a bird was coming at you and you're a hermit crab, you gotta hide in your shell. So that would be like if a shadow passed over you. Now these crabs are pretty active and really don't hide for anything. Dante, for example, oh well, he actually retracted for that. Dante usually doesn't hide from things. He's big, he doesn't care. But you've seen me do experiments before where if you, you, know, you shock the hermit crab, it will hide. Or at least it looks like it might hide. But you know this from handling your own hermit crabs that generally they react to movement and changes in light. But again, it doesn't seem like they react to sound that much. So there you have it. That was my experiment on whether hermit crabs can hear. So it seems like from that experiment, those four crabs could not hear, or did not react at least, to the sound produced by the phone. Now, I'm going to have to repeat this experiment with these crabs and other crabs again to get more solid data. And anyone out there who sees this video can absolutely do this experiment and post your results. That would be great. So the big question is, if hermit crabs can't hear, why do they chirp? Hermit crabs do chirp. Lots of crabbers have heard their crab chirp. I've heard my crabs chirp. So if they're making a sound, there has to be a reason for it. If they can't hear it, maybe they're chirping because it creates vibrations in the shells and the other hermit crabs can feel the vibrations, but not hear it in the way that we hear it. It's really a mystery. We don't really know why or how hermit crabs chirp. Thank you again for watching my video here at Yadokar Nation. My name is Caroline. Good luck with your hermit crabs.